And without further ado, I'd like to introduce my friend, the, uh, and real friend this time, none other than the uh, editor of the Courier Mail, the wonderful Chris Jones, who will provide a welcome to the event and then get into our first panel. Lovely to be here and let's have a lovely afternoon. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm just going to start with an observation. I was just standing over there looking around the room, and I'm pretty sure this is the biggest uh, of these events that the Courier Mail's ever hosted. So give yourselves a round of applause for supporting your industry, please, before we get going. Amazing. We wanted to do this series for a simple reason, and that that reason is based on another observation, um, and that is that maybe 10, 15 years ago, if you were a FIFO miner or you know, work, work in the resources industry, you'd be really proud of what you're doing, the hard job that you're doing to provide a better, better future for your family. Somewhere along the line, that changed. And these days, I think, you know, those same FIFO workers, when they meet someone new at a barbecue, would, would take a little beat worrying about what reaction they might be getting when they, when they, when they say what, what they're doing. And so we really wanted to use this series um, where we've told stories about your industry um, to restore the pride um, that, you, that, that all of your workers should feel in that industry. Because there is no bigger, more important sector to our state economy than your industry, the engine room of the state is the resources sector. It directly employs 80,000 Queenslanders and really importantly, 70% of those are in the regions. Uh, contributes $85 billion to the state's economy. You all know this. You also know that the royalties returned to the state government underpins the strength of the state government's budget. And so therefore, the royalties that, that, that uh, come out of what you guys do pay for schools, hospitals, roads, police, teachers, Doctors, nurses, whatever. It's all this great stuff that the state government does. These are some of the, if you like, inconvenient truths that uh, those who would seek to undermine your industry um, forget about con conveniently. Um, and they're just some of the stories that we've also told over the past two weeks. So welcome to this event. Thank you for our supporting partners. Without you guys, we, we couldn't have done uh, this event in the last couple of weeks. Um, to Bravis, represented here today by Executive Director Samia Vora, Queensland Resources Council with its Chief Executive Jeanette Hewson, Whitehaven Coal, thank you to CEO Paul Flynn and his team. Uh, the Queensland Government has supported, uh, supported us and I look forward to speaking with Premier Stephen Miles a bit later. Premier, thank you for being here today. Uh, Santos, who's Chief Operating Officer Darren Stevenson, is, uh, is here. Coal Australia, thanks to Nick Jaws. Um, Australian Energy Producers, their CEO, Samantha McCulloch, she's a lot of you. And um, last but not least, thank you to ASM Global Chairman Harvey Lister, um, who is our host here at the Convention Centre today, and his team for hosting this great event. Maybe just a round of applause for all of the supporters again for, for, for supporting it. I also spotted over on Table 23, uh, State of Origin legend, Queensland legend Darren Lockyer, who's here with the Jobs in Mining Communities boys. And uh, Lockie tells me that uh, it'll be the Maroons by anything more than one point next Wednesday night. So, I mean, <laughs> you've heard it here first. Um, thank you also to Sky News, our broadcasting partner today. It's uh, being streamed on Sky News Extra. And welcome and thanks also to my good mate, Paul Murray, who did not hesitate when I sent him. He's literally the worst person on the, in the world for texting, but he did not hesitate. He was back in two minutes when I texted him about a month ago and said, would you mind coming up for this event? Um, he loves Queensland, I know that. So welcome, Paul, to Queensland's biggest resources town, Brisbane, where one in four of workers owe their jobs to this industry. We really appreciate you being here, and also Paul taking time out from your holidays to be here. Holidays, of course, that he's having in Queensland. Um, ladies and gentlemen, as I say, it's been a great honour for uh, me and the team at the Courier Mail, and also our regional mastheads in Queensland, um, to shine a light on the resources industry, um, on its impact, its challenges, and the opportunity it presents. Um, we've told all the important economic and policy stories, but 
Genuinely, what we've loved most over the past week is telling the human stories to celebrate the passionate people who make your industry tick um, and to hopefully do our part in making them proud again, as they should be. So, welcome to the future Queensland Resources Lunch.